to another video everybody i'm actually just recording this inside the car instead of outside because although that thing says it's only 77 degrees it feels like 100 it is so hot outside so i didn't want to stand outside for any amount of time so yeah let's get right into the video one thing that i did want to talk about is whether or not i regret buying my brand new dodge challenger because as you guys know because i know that all of y'all have been tuning into the videos so i'm not gonna put it in the title i know that you guys have been tuning into the video so i know that you guys know that my dodge challenger is just a 3.6 liter v6 it's the sxt so do i regret buying this car it's kind of complex because the answer is yes but the answer is also no and one of the main reasons as to why it is um it is both a yes and a no is because of the fact that me personally although i love the challenger i love the fact that i bought a challenger i i have a love-hate relationship with challengers in general because one thing that i have noticed is that i definitely prefer having a charger more than having a challenger but that's not to say that i don't like my challenger that's not to say that i like my charger more if that makes any sense at all hopefully it does but yeah so that's one of the main reasons that, as to why it's both a yes and a no is because i have a love-hate relationship with the challenger in general and um a lot of times i wish that i had this space and the convenience of the charger well i think the challenger looks better if that, if that makes any sense and also on that same note there was a lot of little things about the charger that i just liked more like for example how i had the bigger screen in the charger or how it was a v8 or the fact that i had heated seats in the front it was just a bunch of little things that i liked more about the charger and how i had um remote start but one of the biggest things that makes me not regret the challenger purchase is the fact that the car is brand new the fact that it only has 1558 miles and basically all those miles except for like 30 because i think i had 32 when i took my test drive and i i added maybe three or four taking my own test drive so i when i took delivery of the car it was about 35 miles on this i love the fact that all of these miles are mine and i know exactly how it's been taken care of how it's been driven and i know that it's all mine you know and another reason as to why i don't regret this purchase is because if you see at the top there it's basically still full and has 318 miles to empty which was something that i never in a million years actually ever saw on my charger and just the fact that it has such good gas mileage and i can go a good amount of time without actually putting in gas is one major thing as to why i don't regret this purchase but at the same time regarding the gas and the how many times i fill up and range to empty that was also something that i should have obviously expected going from a 5.7 v8 hemi to a 3.6 v6 so i mean take it as you will one thing i do regret is not spending the little bit of extra money to get a car with leather seats in it because i freaking hate these these seats like yeah a lot more comfortable than a camaro seat we're talking about my own car it's a lot more comfortable than a camaro seat but i really wish that i had the, the look of the leather seats and just the heated and cooled seats that come with having leather seats so that is one thing that i regret about this car and my particular purchase and honestly the biggest question that i that i receive in regards to this car is marcus you had a 5.7 v8 why would you want a v6 after having the v8 
And for those people who don't understand particularly that, or maybe, maybe you haven't watched any of the other videos where I kind of touched up on this exact topic, the main reason why I went down to a V6 as opposed to going up to the 6.4 or just getting another newer 5.7 is because right now it just made more sense for me because I know I know there's a lot of people who are 20 years old who are a lot better off than me and there's a lot of, there's a lot of 20 year olds who are a lot worse off than me but me in particular right now I don't have my own place to live and I was paying a lot on insurance a lot on the car monthly and a lot on gas and my main thing that I wanted to do is bring my expenses down to where I can comfortably afford to get my own place and my own like like a place that I can call my own very soon as opposed to as opposed to um, further down the further down the line because the sooner that I get a place of my own, the sooner that I can be bringing different, better content to you guys. So it's all just a great big picture. And honestly, in my perspective, I was never somebody who was out racing and I was never somebody who was out trying to mod up my car to be the fastest thing in the world. I know the numbers say one thing, but when you're just regular driving, every day mostly just wanted it for the looks it doesn't feel that different going from the 5.7 to the 3.6 and say what you want you you're entitled to your own opinion but this is the internet so that probably just offended a bunch of people it's not that different it's not that like the 5.7 was not fast if you want a fast v8 get a 6.4 because the 3.6 is not, or the 5.7 is not fast. I can tell you that for sure after having it. And another reason as to why I did not really care about the fact that I got a V6 is because to the average person, a V6 SXT is not gonna look that different between a, like that and a scat pack or that and an RT or that and a Hellcat, unless you got like a scat pack with the shaker hood or something and they might be able to see that little shit popping up and be like, oh, that's different. But yeah, and whether you want to admit it or not, everybody cares about their your perspective of how other people see you. Um, and yeah, like my Challenger looks good just like every other Challenger that's on the road. And I'm just chilling right now, like I'm 20. I got a lot of life left in me. I got a lot of life to, to live, you know? So I can pay this off own this then go get a 392 so yeah um hopefully that answered the question hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you're still watching hopefully you've left a like if you enjoyed hopefully you fucking subscribe sorry try not to cuss but anyways i've seen that about 80 percent of people who watch my videos are not actually subscribed so if you're one of those people make sure to change that and hit that button down below as well as the notification bell to make sure that you're notified any any time that i upload a video anyways this has been me crispy marcus and i'm out i love you guys make sure to click here for a to subscribe to me and here for a random video i'll make sure to put it like that this time all right thank you i love you guys